it's got a unique style build and you could tell it's trying to have a unique little twist but you don't really know what it is hey what's up guys it's josh here today i wanted to do a little movie review on a movie called orphan from 2009 in the very early 2010s horror took a really big revamp with stuff like insidious and the conjuring in my opinion the genre just got so much better and the standard was so much higher so this movie coming out in 2009 it's kind of like a horror-ish movie it's kind of like a darker mystery type movie um you have the via farmiga I, I don't know if i can say her name right but the girl from the conjuring i absolutely love her as an actress but another thing that got me to interested in this movie every time that i've seen the cover i'm like man that looks like i want to see what's up with that every time and i always pass on it always pass on it always pass on it it also has a very high rating on imdb for the type of movie that it is it's uh, rated a seven out of ten and there's something like insidious was rated 6.8 I don't understand what movies these people are watching to rate this movie better than Insidious, but I'll get the, you know into that more later on. Orphan is basically like a, a story of a family and they have, I believe, two kids and they have another kid on the way and then they have a tragic accident where they lose the kid. They go to an orphanage to adopt this orphan and as soon as she's brought in, you could tell there's like a darkness or a mystique or a mystery to the whole situation that's pretty intriguing it's pretty unique it doesn't seem like it's gonna be cliche so you're just kind of on board for what this is and I'll say that's probably one of the bigger pros is that it's got a unique style build and you could tell it's trying to have a unique little twist but you don't really know what it is and that's probably the main selling point and the main thing that gets you to watch it uh, via Formiga, I'm sorry for butchering her name but I absolutely love her and she was good in this movie as good as she possibly could there's some other issues that I had with the movie but I loved her I loved the unique idea and then I also like the R rating. For some reason, when something's PG-13, you could just feel how held back it is. You could feel the PG-13 in it. With it being R, it's just a lot more free. It's a lot more you know, able to do whatever it wants. I really appreciated that. That's where the pros end. Let's jump into the cons. Unfortunately, I had more cons to this movie than pros. So the first con is that it's way too long. I believe it was about an hour and 50 minutes. It should have been an even hour and a half. They don't have too, too many tricks up their sleeve, so it really feels dragged out. It really feels like you just want it to be a little bit quicker, a little bit more to the point, a, a lot less fat. And then the husband character, man, when we talk about just a character that you start to not like and there's absolutely no redemption to him. It was just, man, do I not like this character. And then they have a conclusion with the character. I'm like, man, what a dumb conclusion to such a dumb character that should have either never been in the movie or should have been rewritten. I just absolutely cannot stand the husband in this movie. Just terrible, in my personal opinion. And then another con is the whole cliche of no one believing the main character. Now for me, this is just really hard to watch. I think in the very first Nightmare on Elm Street, it was the same thing where nobody believes her to the very, very end. The orphan's always escalating things all the time. And then early on, the mom kind of understands what's going on and starts to kind of challenge her, try, tries to see what's going on with her. And at every twist and turn, the orphan gets everybody on her side. Like the mom has cannot make a leeway with absolutely anything. And it just is so hard to watch because you see this train wreck and you're obviously not for the orphan. You're not for, you know, any sort of this destruction that she's doing. Okay, well, let's have like the good guys, you know, score something too, or like, you know, have there be like a fight. And it's just like, oh, the orphan wins. Oh, the orphan manipulated it. Oh, the orphan manipulated it. Oh, the or just over and over, perfect manipulation. I really wish there was kind of like a, a back and forth where the mom was actually making leeway because it was just so hard to watch with the domination of the orphan. The twist was okay, but with all the cons, it just really like I didn't care about. It. Like I said, if you make this movie an hour and a half, you make it kind of have a little back and forth, could have been a really, really good movie. A little bit of an interesting twist, something I didn't expect you know, at, at all, so I will say that, very bizarre too. 
it just didn't hit and I was just so turned off by how much I was not enjoying the movie with the orphan dominating everything and just at every step escalating and at every step getting everybody on her side to the very, very, pretty much the end. So if I was gonna rate this movie, I'd give it about a 5.5 out of 10. I don't know what these people were thinking rating this as like a seven and Insidious a 6.8. I recently just watched Insidious and like, what a freaking great movie that is. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close to perfect in my opinion for what it's trying to do. This movie completely drops the ball and you could kind of feel a little bit of that. I feel like if Insidious and The Conjuring had been made before this, they would have so much more in their arsenal and the bar would be raised so much higher for it. But this is a movie that if I was going to say, should you own it? Should you rent on it? Should you pass it? I personally would say pass, but this has a 7 out of 10. I've heard every time people talk about it, they do mention, oh, this is guys, this movie got a pretty good twist. Oh yeah, you know, it's got a pretty good twist. So maybe people like it. I don't know. Please Please let me know down below what is your opinion of it did you really really like this movie did you not like this movie i'd be very interested to see to me this was a hard pass but anyways guys let me know what movie i should see next are you interested in any other movies i'd be very interested to see down below i'm pretty much always watching movies all kinds of genres and all kinds of years so this is just one i checked out but we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i could not do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace